but it still bugged me. You know, how did my dad have a cardiac arrest? So his postmortem finding came, findings came back. And he, two of his three major arteries were severely narrowed, right? Critically narrowed. 90% in what we call the left anterior descending artery, the most important artery to the heart, and the right coronary artery. And I thought, this is weird. I knew my dad's lifestyle inside out. I knew his cardiac history inside out. There was no cardiac history. He had something called a calcium score done a few years earlier. He had blood flow to his arteries were all normal. This is a guy that only two years earlier on a badminton, I was Manchester champion, schools champion in badminton, right? Singles badminton, I don't know if you've ever played it, but it's a very, it's like playing basketball. For a cardiovascular system, it's really heavy. And for the first time in God knows, um, probably about 30 years, he, had, he beat me in the first game 15-1. And I was like, my God, how's my dad beating me here? You know, we were very competitive with each other. I mean, it was, we played for an hour and at the end, almost at the end of the hour, Joe, I got back in, it was like tied. I ruptured my Achilles, right? It was that bad. And I was about to tweet and just share, I was like, I'm really proud of my 73-year-old dad. He literally almost beat me in badminton, right? He was that fit. So it didn't make any sense. So severe narrowings and I'm just, okay, what was it? Was he really stressed, you know? Stress, by the way, severe psychological stress can, can, can cause these sorts of issues with the heart, but again, didn't, didn't, didn't buy it. And then October, November 2021, I get alerted from a cardiologist friend of mine who, who's one of the smartest cardiologists in the country, I think. I mean, he's a brilliant mind. And he sends me an abstract from uh, Circulation, cardiology journal, done by Stephen Gundry, who's a cardiothoracic surgeon, I think, based in New York. And I read this abstract and I'm like, wow. And what he found was in, he'd been following up several hundred people in their 50s with um, a test that he does called the pulse score, which correlates the blood test and it measures markers of inflammation in the blood, Joe, which have been validated and correlated with heart disease risk and heart attack risk. And what he found was that within eight, 10 weeks, of these patients taking the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine, mRNA vaccines, those markers of inflammation in the blood had increased to a level where their risk of a heart attack went from 11% at five years, just within two months to 25%, which is a huge jump. Like to give it context, if I today decided I was gonna smoke 40 cigarettes a day, eat junk food, you know, hammer it all night, not sleep, um, stop exercising. I couldn't even get a close to increasing my risk that much in two months. Now, it's one bit of data. And of course, in medicine, which, I, which we've talked about is not an exact science, you never rely just on one bit of data. You look at other bits of data as well. And, and what kind of picture does all the information start painting? So at that point, I was like, okay, now I can understand there's something now that fits with what happened to my dad. But if this is real, this is going to be a problem because I know you're essentially for populations of people who may not know they've got a little bit of mild furring that isn't going to cause them a problem for 20 years, suddenly you're going to get an increase in heart attacks much more quickly. Then what happened was I got contacted, it all happened within a few weeks, uh, a journalist, I think it was from the Telegraph or the Times, I can't remember, asked me to, Times, asked me to comment on the fact there'd been an unexplained increase, about 25% increase in heart attacks in Scotland in hospitals that people can't explain. So they said, Dr. Mahotra, what do you think is going on? Um, and then the third thing that happened was I was um, a whistleblower from a prestigious university in the UK contacted me, cardiologist, and he said to me, uh, he was very upset. He said, it seems something I've got to tell you. I don't know what to do, but I, I need to tell you this. I said, what is it? He says, Our, this research group had accidentally found with the use of coronary imaging techniques. So this is specialized high-tech scans of the arteries of the heart that in the vaccinated, there was... Mm, increased inflammation of the arteries of the heart and it wasn't there in the unvaccinated, which again would increase heart attack risk. But they had a cl closed meeting and they said, we're not gonna publish these findings or talk about it further because it may affect our funding from the drug industry. 